Welcome back to Reefing for Dummies. In today's video, we're going to be discussing how to grow chato and other types of macroalgae in your refugium. So what are the benefits of growing macro type algae such as Calarpa and chato? They are very fast growers and in exchange they absorb phosphate and nitrate as they grow. I recommend having your refugium section of your sump as large as possible to maximize room for your macroalgae to grow. So I just harvested my chato and I have about half a bucket, half a five gallon bucket, maybe a little bit less of chato. So what's the problem with letting it go this far? I mean, this is what I got left into my sump after everything that I harvest. So I have a little, you know, quite a bit from, from my small refugium in this 30 gallon tank. So what could be the problem with harvesting, waiting to harvest that much? So one of the first problems is if you have that much chato in your refugium, it's going to start releasing a lot of growth prohibitors for the chato so it slows down the growth and that's gonna affect your corals from growing things like that it can also in my opinion it's gonna catch a lot of detritus onto the chato and get stuck and that's gonna create basically what's gonna be a phosphate reactor it's gonna it's gonna start leaching all this phosphate from the detritus so I would suggest definitely doing regular harvests of your macroalgae. In my opinion, I like to run medium flow through your refugium section. This will allow the chato to maximize the amount of phosphate and nitrate that it's pulling out of your water. Too fast will not allow enough time for this to pull these out. Too slow will provide your aquarium with inadequate filtration. Medium water flow through the refugium section is going to allow amphipods and copepods to breed and then gradually feeding your system. So let's talk about lighting the chato. Now I just went to Home Depot and purchased a high wattage CFL bulb in around 6500 Kelvin. Now I have ran into the situation where my chato just did not seem to grow no matter what I did. Now, this could be a result of your water being too clean. If your phosphates and nitrates are already low, the chances are your chato will not grow. Now, this may change depending on, you know, the amount of fish that you have in the system, the amount you're feeding. Another great tip is to tumble your chato. This will allow the maximum amount of growth on your macroalgae. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys want to be notified when I release new videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure to like the video. And until next time, keep on reefing.